For Irvin Magic Johnson, basketball has been Aladdin's lamp. He rubbed it, shot it, and extracted from it the genie of fame and fortune. Magic makes it look easy. A five-time NBA champion. When they need a basket, Magic will take over. The conversation with the greatest point guard ever starts at number two. A three-time league MVP. We had all the superstars there. Magic orchestrated one of the greatest dynasties in American sports. I want you to be the Showtime Lakers. They started calling us the Showtime Lakers, and it was beautiful. A six foot nine point guard without an ounce of selfishness in his body. The young man is truly amazing. But he was more than just a player. He was an icon. Obviously, Hollywood, Showtime, it's fitting, but also the Laker girls. They kind of changed oh, yeah. the game for cheerleaders or whatever you yeah. want to call them. He was the king of Los Angeles in the 80s, which was a wild, wild time. Then he had Hugh Hefner come, <laughs> and all the ladies was in uh, lace and, uh, you know, the play, playmates. They beat him for the front court pass to Magic. Great bounce pass. Nobody throws a bounce pass from distance like Magic Elevating Johnson. teammates with pinpoint passes and infectious enthusiasm. Los Angeles is that seductive combination of wanderlust, tinsel, sunshine, and a lot of pleasure for pleasure's sake. What was Irvin Johnson's vice? Magic loved two things above all else. One of them was winning. There's Magic at 5.2, down to three seconds. The hook shot. Oh, no! With eight tenths of a... Nine of his 12 years, he was top three in the MVP voting. Nine of his 12 years, he got his team to the NBA Finals. Pass under to Magic. He brought the NBA into a new era. He is the best salesman the NBA has ever had. And you can tell, he's a class act. This is the 80s. Yeah, the 80s. It was fun time. Does America believe in magic? You bet we do. Basketball was a sport. After, it was a religion. Cooper will inbound the ball. Johnson. Irvin Magic Johnson Showtime Johnson comes from East Lansing, Michigan Lansing, Michigan mm -hmm. Six siblings My father worked for General Motors for 30 years He won an award for never missing a day and never being late His father's work ethic played a large part in the development of Magic's game He turned teams around immediately at every level in high school, he led Lansing Everett to its first ever state championship. Irvin Johnson quickly became a statewide sensation. And number 32, Irvin Johnson. I can't even describe it, but uh, when you come up through that door and you can smell that aroma of the popcorn and you hear the band. I love controlling the action. Being a leader of every team I played on, all, only thing I wanted to do, man, was win. Jamie Huffman into Beard over to Irvin Johnson. Watch, three guys follow Magic everywhere he goes. Bumps around, falls in. Still dominating. On the right wing, Beard goes all the way. I'm ahead. Oh, when did Irvin become magic? I was uh, a sophomore in high school. All the pa uh, papers picked us to come in last place again. And so we, we started off 7-0, and undefeated. It was here that Irvin was dubbed magic. 
And I had 39 points and about 18 rebounds and 16 assists. Johnson turned his last place high school team into a juggernaut. Probably generated more interest than any other game in the state championship probably in the last decade. I think the reason why is the fellow right out there on the floor, number 32, Irvin Magic Johnson, everybody's first team All-State player and first team All-American. What the hell did you make of a six, eight and a half point guard? Magic put on a show, leading his high school team to a state championship. Oh, the crowd loves it. The Magic Man has been down here today. News was spreading that a player unlike any other had arrived in East Lansing, Michigan. Johnson was the most sought after recruit in the nation. Before most had seen him play, they heard rumors of a basketball savant named Magic. This is uh, Irvin Johnson, if you have not heard the name. Is there any questions before I get started? <laughs> One question. No, uh, next year I will be uh, attending Michigan State University. Magic was staying home and playing for Michigan State. Seeing them run out, that's what I always wanted to do, run out in the green and white. And I finally got my chance to do that. College basketball was about to experience a revolution. You're going to hear a lot of noise. Oh, what a play! And it! Oh. Spectators lined up to witness the unfolding story of a generational talent. The unique talents of Magic empowered him to unleash his full creativity on the court. It is Johnson. Oh! At Michigan State, a program that had never won 20 games in a season. Johnson with a drive on Hansley. A program that hadn't been to the NCAA tournament in 18 years. The name of the game is to keep the ball in Magic's hands. He led them to the NCAA title. Oh, Magic got away from Tracy J. Spectators lined up to witness the unfolding story of a generational talent. At the same time, a kid named Larry Bird was capturing the national spotlight. The center, a six and a half Larry Bird. Bird. Once I started playing, it's the same old thing. You know, he's at a small school and he ain't playing against anybody. <clears throat> Which is fine. Still dominated. I started making these wild passes and. Oh, back to Bird. Great pass. Oh, what a play. In case you're interested, I just released a huge video about Larry Bird a little while back. This is Bird Country. Oh, this is Bird Watching Country, but this is a rare bird. This time I laid eyes on Magic Johnson. We played on an all star team back in college. I could not believe what I was seeing in practice. A feed by Johnson. But I can remember going home. And telling my older brother, I just seen the best basketball player I'm probably ever going to see in my life. And I was watching Magic play, and I go, oh my God, that's the best player I've ever seen play, because I didn't follow basketball. And he was a sophomore at the time. The combination of Johnson and Kelser getting some easy hoops deflected away. Donnelly and Johnson. It's Johnson. That magic image was polished and first presented to the world in Johnson's sophomore year at Michigan State when he led the Spartans to the 1979 National Championship. Proud, proud to that NCAA tournament, still was the most watched NCAA Finals game in, in, in NCAA history. Magic and Bird both exploded onto the mainstream almost simultaneously. The most watched uh, college championship ever. Everything was written. Uh, Bird versus Magic. Magic versus Bird, that whole thing. And, and, and it wasn't Indiana State versus Michigan State anymore. 
it was it was Larry Bird versus Magic Johnson. This set the stage for a clash of titans and the dawning of an all-time rivalry. Number 33 at guard, six foot eight inch sophomore from Lansing, Michigan, Urban Magic Johnson. There was a build-up once the NCAA tournament started that I think TV, NBC, and all them were hoping Indiana State and Michigan State would meet for the championship game, and that's exactly what happened. Bob Heaton is not a guard. He can play guard and play forward. Bird inside. Oh, College basketball player of the year, Larry Bird. And Basketball's Bird. miracle team. And they had been ranked since. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and they weren't ranked before. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and we we put two guys on it. We right. double teamed them. Right. Anytime Larry Bird touches it, there's about three people in this area. Here's a foul. The two most exciting players to come onto the scene in ages. We both had a, a, a knack for making our teammates better. And we love the big moment and trying to uh, excel uh, when the pressure was on. And so many people talk about how important that game turns out to be, the magnitude the of it. The secondary players are not hitting that perimeter shot. Oh, oh. Murray! Great play by oh. Murray, and he saves it. That was an alley -oop. The March Madness as we know it now really can be traced back to that day. To this day, this is the most watched NCAA title game in history. Oh. <laughs> Magic defeated Bird, and the Spartans were national champs. Magic, not only were you a leader on offense, I thought you did a great job on Larry Bird in the zone this tonight. This one will go down in the annals of Michigan State basketball. There is Magic in East Lansing. I finished what I came to college for, which was to win the national championship and uh, mm -hmm. play against Larry Bird in that. Yeah. Round one of the Magic-Bird rivalry went to Johnson. But this was just the start of a decade defining back and forth. He goes to the Celtics, <laughs> you go to the Lakers, and we know this rivalry in the 60s. We hate Boston, and Boston hate the Lakers. And I mean, th it was on from there, and it was just great drama. It lived up to all the hype. Magic entered the NBA draft, where the Lakers and the Bulls would flip a coin. The first pick, the Los Angeles Lakers select Urban Magic Johnson, Michigan State, 6'8", 200 pounds. The Lakers won the coin toss, and the rest is history. Magic's arrival lifted expectations, but few could have imagined just how much things were about to change. Listen, it's hard to come to a city like Los Angeles, and all the pressure was already on me because we had won the championship. I'm the number one pick, so I gotta, I gotta make sure I prove to everybody that I belong in the NBA. Johnson turned professional that year, playing for the Lakers and rookie coach Paul Westhead. After all the hype, the time had finally come for Magic to make his debut. This man has a smile that lights up a television screen from here to Bangor, Maine. Notice that 33 is already given out on the lake. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, so Johnson was not about to ask for Abdul-Jabbar's number. Settled for 32. That's not too bad in Los Angeles either. Johnson instantly infused the Lakers with much-needed energy. Making plays on both ends of the court, the rookie put on a show. Free has it stolen and here it comes. And you get the feeling it's Los Angeles was a city yearning for a champion. Shot blocked out there. Johnson now playing with just a touch more contact. Lakers can move to within one on the wall. Ah! The game came down. 
to one shot. Bryant's on him. The clock will start when it is touched by someone inbound. Wouldn't you know it, Kareem hit the legendary skyhook. Magic Johnson and Kareem. Ford sends it to Kareem. Skyhook up. He hits a sky hook from the free throw line. Ten good. Lakers win. Score it. Kareem Abdul Jabbar has given the Los Angeles Lakers a victory. And Magic Johnson is out there celebrating like they just won the NCAA championship. So I go running, I jump, and I'm ho choke, choking him. And so he got me to the locker room. Rookie, come here. Don't ever do that. We have 81 more games to go. So everybody's looking at me in the locker room like, what you gonna do, rookie? So I turned around and said, you hit a shot like that 81 more times. You know he's taller than me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to jump in your arms 81, 81 more times. Time. <laughs> the rest of the season was filled with the same type of magic. We're in the third quarter here at the far. Shell out crowd. Magic could pull effortlessly from a bottomless bag of tricks. Look at the pass inside. <laughs> What great fun it is to play with Magic. Just when you think you've seen Magic show you all his tricks, he pulls another rabbit out of the hat. Magic. While the Lakers looked like contenders, their coach suffered an injury, which would force him to step down. Paul Westhead would assume the head coaching role. Who is going to win the NBA championship this year, and what will be the two teams in the finals? If I had to go uh, un uh, load my wallet, and we know <laughs> legally, I'd go with Los Angeles. I think that the big guys motivated. They've got uh, a power team, and I'm not sure if Boston is ready yet as a unit. Matty Johnson and Larry Bird are the two most important figures in NBA history. David Stern's first year, the average salary was $200,000. Magic and Bird. Those guys changed the entire trajectory of the NBA and made it what it is today. Lakers, watch out. With Magic, the Lakers became more than just a team. They were an event, a vibe. Johnson showcased the beauty of teamwork and the power of self-belief. Magic oh, that's Johnson. A, that's rebounding. Changing the game. One pass at a time. To Cooper. Sensational pass again by Magic. Sensational catch. Basketball was a canvas. Johnson, the artist. Coaches and teammates were left in awe of Magic's uncanny court vision. These are the stages of Magic Johnson's coming of age. Magic became the first rookie ever picked to start in an All-Star game. Magic. The Lakers cruised to the NBA Finals, where they faced off against Dr. J and the 76ers. It'll be the Philadelphia 76ers against the Los Angeles Lakers for the NBA championship. Welcome to the land of movie stars, sunshine, and air that's clearly visible for the opening of the 1980 championship series. Um, your rookie year. Go to the finals versus Dr. J. The world's best are prepared to go head-to-head -head for the sport's most prestigious time. My idol. I'm playing him in the NBA finals. That fast. And so we, so I said, man, I love you, but I gotta take him out. Got to, yeah. I got to take him out. The magic to Kareem combo appeared to be too much for Philadelphia. Uh, we just played so well together and we were running. No looking left, right, <laughs> throwing it between my legs, behind my back. When I give it to you, I did my part. Right. I got him up out <laughs> their seats. <laughs> See, I got him up out <laughs> their seats. That's yeah. where Showtime came in. You know, it was a show within yeah. the game, and they started calling us the Showtime Lakers. The series went back to Philly, where Dr. J had an all-time iconic moment. He came down the right side, and he jumped. And he started walking. The finger roll, yeah. In the air. <laughs> in the air. In the air. I 
said, man, this dude is too much, man. <laughs> <laughs> See, he was doing that George stuff before Michael. Yeah. yeah. Returning to L.A., the Lakers took a three games to two lead. It's two on one. Magic comes and Nixon breaks free and Magic comes home. Magic Johnson turned a laid-back, show-me culture into a college crowd that lived and died with each Laker game. It was a love affair. They called it Showtime. Just when it looked as if the Lakers were destined to become champions, Kareem went down with an injury. Kareem turns underneath, puts it up and scores on a finger roll. Five, but Kareem hurt. Kareem turned an ankle. Kareem is hurt. I don't think Kareem is going to be able to go anymore right now. Kareem hobbled to the end of Game 5, but he would be sidelined for Game 6 back in Philadelphia. Well, in Game 5, Kareem twisted his ankle. So we're up 3-2 going back to Philly. So nobody knew if he was going to play or not. So we get to the airport, and I saw the faces of everybody, and I knew right then that Kareem wasn't going to play. You got the ultimate challenge. You have, you're here in the finals, it's rookie season, you got Kareem down, hurt, and you got Magic gonna go play center. I get to the airport, everybody head is down because Kareem can't play. I said, so what? Kareem can't play, we still gonna win. <laughs> right. Yeah. So by the time we landed in Philadelphia, I had told Coach uh, Westhead, I said, look, let me play center. I played center in high school and a little bit in college. I can play center. With a world title hanging in the balance, rookie Magic Johnson would be called upon to play center and replace the legend Kareem. Live at the sold-out crowd at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, it is game six, the 76ers and the Lakers. In other words, you know, you can talk about Kareem in or out. It doesn't make any difference. He's not here. They've got to beat this Laker team that they put on the floor. Now, putting Magic Johnson at center is going to create some problems. What kind of problems? We'll have to wait and see. Johnson didn't shrink from the pressure. Instead, he seized the moment. Oh, man, it was so much fun playing against Doc. He was the first dude walking in the air. What does it mean as far as the Lakers are concerned tonight? A young man by the name of Magic Johnson is going to start at center. I'm ready and uh, I know my teammates are too. Are you going to play center on offense in this game? Yeah, I will be changing from center to forward on certain players. Kareem went Thank down. You. Uh, you're a rookie, 20 years old? Yeah, 20 years in old. In the NBA Finals. The game that still might be the finest game of his career came as a rookie in the finals, no Kareem in game six. It goes through Dawkins of the Sixers. He plays center and goes 42 points, 15 rebounds, seven assists. In game six, with an injured Abdul Jabbar back home in LA, Magic played all five positions. It is 54 56ers, 310. Magic comes right back on the penetration, and it's a two point game. The atmosphere was electric. Wait a move. The Spectrum crowd now starting to come alive. They might have thought it was going to be easy, too. Oh. The 76ers fans thought the Lakers were doomed without Kareem. Magic had other ideas. On the interception, on the lazy pass, it is that rookie again. Magic dishes Wilkes this time. He played a game-high 47 minutes. He scored a game-high 42 points. He grabbed the game-high 15 rebounds. On the shot clock. Whip it inside to Magic. 38 points. 14 for 23 for the field. 10 for 10 for the free throw line. 14 rebounds. Six or Here comes a 20-year-old rookie down the middle. And led the Lakers to the NBA championship. In the final game of the playoffs, playing center in place of the injured Abdul-Jabbar, Magic scored 42 points to beat Philadelphia and win the NBA title. There it is, it's over, and the most valuable player is Magic Johnson. Magic and the Lakers had done it. Johnson was named the most valuable player as a rookie. 42-15. And seven. 42, 15, and seven. You know what that means? What that is? <laughs> 42 points, 15 rebounds, and seven assists. He starts at center, plays forward and guard, and leads the Los Angeles Lakers to a world championship 123 107 over Philadelphia without 
Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You're able to beat them. Finals MVP as a rookie. It's the only first and only rookie to ever win Finals MVP. Magic, uh, what do you have that makes you perform like this in these championship games? Well, I don't know. It's just I love to win, and uh, I guess that's the thing. I go in thinking we can win any game that. That's probably my greatest individual game ever in the finals. Uh, and I had just won the NCAA tournament just, the, just what, six, seven months ago and then turn around and we win our first NBA championship. So it was an amazing year for me. To the owner of the Los Angeles Lakers, the new world champions of basketball, and I'm proud to do it. And here you go, Jerry Buss. It's yours. And it's permanent. You keep it. After winning the title, Lakers owner Jerry Buss and Magic Johnson became close. My first year, I made four hundred thousand. Oh, four hundred thousand. Okay. But once we won, okay, he tore up the contract and wanted to give me twenty-five million. I remember the first time Magic, when he made a million dollars, we were going around high-fiving each other. As the '80s bloomed. The culture was changing. New music, movies, and sports icons were taking over the nation. But can the Lakers come back and repeat that title? Chief among them was Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson has attained the world at the age of 22. Whose million dollar smile charmed the public like few before. It's the joy, the smile, the laugh. His magic smile beams down from billboards all over Los Angeles. Magic was the ideal the spokesman. Thing and shopping that quality deal. That's the shoot. That's magic. Do what he was born to do. He is Magic Johnson Enterprises. He didn't smoke or drink. He did, however, have one vice. Focus first on winning. We were able to accomplish that. So I concentrated on that first. Then after I made my name, then I said, okay, it's club time now. <laughs> <laughs> Magic began enjoying his new status as the toast of LA. When they were coming into the box, and he had 10, 20 of them, and look, Irvin, which one you want? And I was like, oh, okay, it's All like right, that. Celebration continues here in the Laker locker room. Magic's days were spent thrilling Laker fans with one spectacular play after another. It is in for three! It's in for three at the buzzer! Magic's nights were spent as the star in a city filled with stars. It was one of those star-studded Hollywood premieres. Constantly surrounded by beautiful women. And then he said, I'm going to take you to the Playboy Mansion. Magic even frequented the Playboy Mansion. Listen. Ooh, wee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do running with Dr. Buss. Ooh, different. And oh. Hugh Hefner. Different. And the play Playmates Ooh. and all that. It's oh. a different life. Magic was putting up a triple-double every night, one way or another. So, yeah, I had fun there. Wilk brings the ball into Magic, dribble drive down the middle, beats Thea, puts it up, scores it underneath with a scoop shot. Magic can do it all. Unconventional brilliance. It would never be nothing like that ever again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, that was before cell phones Cameras and all that. Yeah. I come from a small town, Lansing, Michigan. So now I go to Hollywood. There's two people. There's Irvin Johnson and there's Magic Johnson from Hollywood. Here comes Magic. Magic's ability to run the offense helped change Kareem into a more versatile player. Oh my. The basketball world believed it might be witnessing the creation of a new dynasty. When Magic Johnson returned after a mid-season knee injury, but the team had trouble readjusting and was eliminated by the Houston Rockets. After Magic suffered a mid-season knee injury, the Lakers were defeated in round one of the playoffs by the Houston Rockets.
Talks of a dynasty were put on hold. Loses in round one to Moses, guy also very high on our list, despite averaging 17 points, 14 rebounds, seven assists. Tension with head coach Paul Westhead resulted in a demand for magic. There was a little tension. Matter of fact, I'd be lying if I said there was a little tension. There was a lot. It was big. And a couple of months ago, he became disenchanted with his coach, said so. The coach was fired. And suddenly, Magic Johnson was the wicked one. I'm, I haven't been happy. I'm not happy. I just, you know, want to get out of the situation. Happy-go-lucky Magic and Sirius Irvin Johnson both had a problem recently. They were blamed for getting Laker coach Paul Westhead fired. We really don't have no comment right now until after I meet with Dr. Buss. Then, you know, you can have all the questions you want, okay? Whether Johnson actually got Westhead fired is a moot point. Much of the public and some of the press thought he did. There are multiple accounts of this story, but we know Westhead was fired, Magic stayed, and a new coach would assume control of the Lakers. Pat Riley will stay with the Lakers as coach. The new coach was Pat Riley, a future legend and icon of the sport. And the rest, as they say, is basketball history. The Lakers' offense would go through a change. And down there, shooting Kurt, Silk, Norm, Jake, Scoop, and James. Becoming faster and more precise. I think Magic is truly positionless, could dominate at any spot. It wasn't long before the high-flying, up-and-down-the-court style earned a nickname. Magic Johnson, Magic gets to Kareem, straddling the three-point line. Showtime. He slam dunks to be fouled by Oldham. Boy, was that a sensational pass by Magic. Magic's smile had returned. 105. Brenner, a starter, 62 games last year, a backup roll now. Not afraid to put it up. Give it to him! Execution. Showtime was fitting as the Lakers were capable of scoring in record time. Here's the beauty of Magic's game, Tom. Another one. A dazzling display of Magic's wizardry and the Lakers' collective talent. Johnson takes it down the lane himself. Look at it. And he's fouled. They started calling us the Showtime Lakers, and it was beautiful. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Hollywood, Showtime, it's fitting, but also the Laker girls, they kind of changed oh, yeah. the game. Magic that sends a run for clock. Eight, now seven on the shot clock. Give and go! Absolutely unbelievable. He did that, but he really didn't because it's not possible. <laughs> I mean, I know we all saw it, but he did not do that. Because a human being can't. And Dr. Buss created all of that. And so he, he said, you know what? I want to show the yes to be the, the team, but we gotta create entertainment. I'm in the entertainment entertainment capital of the world. So I want more happening during the game, so that's when he had the young ladies come out and start dancing. The Showtime Lakers were firing on all cylinders. For nine playoff games, Laker opponents have wilted under the most intense pressure defense and fast break offense in recent memory. They were so good, in fact, that they didn't lose a single game the entirety of the playoffs, becoming the first team to ever sweep their way into the finals. A rematch of 1980 set against the dramatic backdrop of these teams' frustrations in 1981. In the finals, it was a rematch against Dr. J. Oh, great pass on the alley-oop from Magic to Kareem. Dr. J was his typical extraordinary self. Julius Irving put on a memorable performance this afternoon. The Lakers had a chance to win the title in six. And as both teams head back out to the West Coast, the best of seven series is all tied. This is a world championship, Jim. You know, you, it's a different feeling now. I mean, uh, we came and did just about what we want. Magic was razor sharp in the form. The series has been filled with dazzling performance by a remarkable array of stars. Once filled with groans of dismay, the forum became a sea of yellow. 
Another capacity crowd, 17,505. The rich and famous were now commonplace in the forum. And welcome to Game 6 of the 1982 NBA World Championship Series. Number 6. Lakers lead three games to two. They were relentless on the open floor. Jinx is on magic. The Lakers have opened up with a vengeance. And Billy Cunningham wants a timeout. It's six to nothing. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't show you this moment from Daryl Dawkins. The Lakers pulled away late. Down here is Kareem, the ball to Magic. Underneath the Kareem, slam dunk. What also sets Magic apart is that he was the undeniable face of the Showtime Lake. Point lead, two minutes gone by. And the Lakers have that's the biggest lead of the game. And this is the quick team that the Lakers have that's so devastating on a fast break. Perhaps no other team has ever pushed the ball with such speed and precision as the Showtime Lakers. Moving the ball effortlessly down the court. Magic Johnson was named Finals MVP yet again. The Lakers are about to become champions for the second time in three years. If history calls this 12 and 2 playoff team one of the best of all time. The Lakers, it's over. against Dr. J in the finals. Averages 16, 11, and eight for another finals MVP. And there's the scene inside the Laker dressing room. And Pat Riley has done it. He was not just a push button coach at all, was he, Bill? He did a great job. He did just about it. He gave these guys just a, the right amount of- Magic was now a two-time champion and the Lakers' potential dynasty was alive and kicking. He's now 22 years old and a two-time champion and a two-time finals MVP. He averages for the playoffs 17 points, 11 rebounds, 9 assists, 3 steals. Magic was a bigger star than it ever. It just means so much. You can walk around with your head proud the whole next year. Everywhere you go, the world champion Los Angeles Lakers is coming to town. I mean, it makes you feel good. He was in countless commercials. And I'm talking about uh, the incredible Magic Johnson of the Los Angeles Lakers. Johnson talks about his life on the road before he got married. 40 to 50 women in the hotel after every game looking for players. He enjoyed his celebrity status with as many people as he could. This is the 80s. Yeah, the 80s. It was fun time. Everybody having sex. Unprotected sex. I googled how many women did Magic Johnson and yeah. it just came back the city Lansing, Michigan. <laughs> Like I said, women have different fantasies. I want to be with two, three at a time. You know, one time I had six at one time. That's just... Six women? Six women. Now, was that their fantasy or your fantasy? That was both. <laughs> Probably most, mostly mine. When Magic wasn't clapping cheeks, he was busy running the greatest show in sports, the Showtime Lakers. Already on two championship teams, he has admirers all around the league. Look how quickly he brings it up. It took him three seconds to get it over the line. Magic was coming into his prime. As he floats it in. Making one ridiculous play after the next. Magic. Swish. Johnson sizzling. There's you know who. Oh, he has number 30 for the night. And Kareem was still his dominant self. Even if aging, Jabbar was a terror. Jabbar, he gets the inside track on Cummings and the foul. Showtime. 11 point lead. The dynamic duo of Magic and Kareem made short work of the regular season. In the Western Conference Finals, one of the important matchups was fire and ice. The Hemisphere Arena in San Antonio, Texas, for the Los Angeles Lakers now, are being introduced. Kareem. It appeared to all that the Lakers would cruise to a repeat. 
Goggles come free. Swing to Magic. It's my favorite Magic Johnson stat, and that is that you have the highest assist per game average in NBA history. Another great pass by Magic, another great catch by Wilkes. We've said great so many times, but it's not a redundancy. They're doing it every time down the floor. In the playoffs, Magic orchestrated the Lakers' offense to perfection. Magic with a 3-1 lead in the Western Conference Final. And our most valuable player is Irvin Magic Johnson, who did it all here this afternoon. He orchestrated this victory, 31 points, 8 rebounds, 16 assists. For the third time, Magic and the Lakers would face off with the 76ers in the finals. Mark, the third time in the last four years they've met for the World Championship. Sixers were favored and ready. They'd lost to the Lakers in two of the last three finals, and nothing but a championship would satisfy their fans. This was a great rematch with one major difference. The Sixers had signed free agent Moses Malone, and he was unstoppable. The 76ers were a much better team. Worthy against Malone. Pass is deflected. Going to be stolen, I think, by the doctor. Yes, he's got it. He carry it down. It was time to put up or shut up. Irving. Iconic. The baby to sleep and slam dunk. And yet another Laker turnover. <laughs> Magic against the hand check of Tony. Both clubs are out of foul. Magic holds it up underneath to get to Nixon. Nixon scores. Magic Johnson's bullet pass. We're tied at 110. Magic made a great pass. Magic's got a triple double. He's had it for an hour, by the way. The Philadelphia 76ers, Maurice Cheeks, quiet. No, they're going to be the worst yeah. team, folks. The Lakers were swept. And Dr. J got his ring. And this time Philly has Moses, and Philly sweeps him. But Magic does average 19 points, 8 rebounds, 13 assists. The Lakers had a vice grip on the Western Conference. Magic and Kareem had become the perfect duo. Gigantic block to Magic. Three on three. It is an art for me. It's like I want to be perfect, you know, all the time. Stolen away by Magic. Oh my goodness! Apologies to Dick Enberg, but bullet passes. Another great Magic Johnson pass. Complete court awareness. Off to the main man, Magic Johnson. Great pass to Cooper. All with that special Magic flair. Magic now has 14 assists. I know we're going overboard on this. Magic can do it. He's something he really is. Cruising to first place again. The playoffs were just a warm-up for the main event. A guy that knows what to do in winning time. Abdul Jabbar. In 1984, Kareem was approaching Wilt Chamberlain's all time scoring record. On April 5th, the moment arrived. This was the season Kareem captured the all time scoring record from Wilt Chamberlain. In the finals, the match everyone was hoping for came to fruition. You know, we were the favorites and, and we made our way. They won the East, we won the West. So it's like uh, everybody just get ready, sit back, and uh, let's enjoy it. So at least we got the game in our court, and uh, our fans will be hyped up, and it'll be fun. Of course, you had the Bird Magic, you know, take over the '80s. The Bird Magic Celtic Laker Finals were like the Ali Frazier. In each of the last four NBA World Championship Series, either Magic or Bird has competed, but this is the first time that the two have gone head to head for the title. Well, I was excited being in the finals, but playing against Magic, yeah, that, that was. Uh, Something that I always dreamed about since he beat us in college. And welcome to Los Angeles, the city of stars and expensive cars. The 1984 NBA World Championship Series was a media circuit. Back in the finals again, Magic and Bird would add a new chapter to their rivalry. Game four with the Lakers leading the Celtics two victories. 
Historic struggles between the Lakers and Celtics had defined the NBA. Down to one in game four to even the series. Bird gets the layup. Boy, how he knights his way in. The ratings were off the charts, and the NBA was bigger than ever. And here's Larry Bird with another rebound. He has 11 in the ball game. The tip controlled by the Celtics. Here's Bird going for three, and he has it. The Lakers arrived in Boston. Mr. Stern comes in in 1983. And he capitalizes on two people. One name was Larry Bird, another name was Magic Johnson. Playing in extraordinary heat, both teams would have to dig deep. Boston Garden was a sauna. The place had no air conditioning. And inside, as the temperatures reached into the hundreds, the Lakers tried to relax and stay fresh. Are entering the hottest place in this city, literally. There is no air conditioning in this ancient building. And the loud and rabid Boston fans cheered them as if on a crusade. How hot was it in here? Game five and game seven and 84 against the Lakers. Uh, they said it was 105. Uh, all I remember is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the oxygen tank to his face. <laughs> the Lakers will have a bottle of oxygen alongside their bench. Larry Bird gets an offensive rebound. was an exceptional rebound, averaging 10 rebounds a game for his... The score is tied at 26. The game started over 97 degrees here at Boston Garden inside, and I'm sure that's been raised a few degrees. Bird scored 34 points and had 17 rebounds. But Larry Bird... Gaines finds an open Bird, takes Rampus. In resounding fashion, with a big second half, have trounced the Los Angeles Lakers 121 to 103. A 34.17 rebound game to go up 3 2. Bird had an extraordinary game, scoring 34 points on 15 of 20 from the field and grabbing 17 rebounds. Back in LA, the forum was packed. So on a sunny Southern California afternoon, the forum is our city. And the Los Angeles Lakers must win here or this season is history. Usually restrained forum crowd was in a frenzy. They had seen Boston Garden erupt and went all out for the Lakers. From the start, the game wasn't close. The Showtime Lakers steamrolled Bird and the Celtics. The Lakers' win would send the series to Boston for a Game 7. Los Angeles Lakers have even this NBA World Championship Series at three victories apiece, and they did it in dramatic fashion. And Abdul-Jabbar scored 30 points to lead all scores. Larry Bird had 28, a dramatic victory by the Lakers. I thought we played like a bunch of sissies. We just didn't do the things that, that it took for us to win a championship. Everything is back there to be had. History, the Boston Garden, uh, Retired numbers, world championship banners. Uh, we have a chance to do something that no other team has ever done. Go back to Boston Garden and win a world championship on that parquet floor. The series returned east. The Lakers had lost the home court advantage, which rested now with Boston. Back in the garden, the heat was on. Track of the temperature here in Boston Garden, and it says 91 degrees. That's inside. Outside is pretty delightful, Tom. It's the moment schoolyard players dream about on sleepless summer nights. And tonight, the seventh game of the World Championship, where the Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers get ready for the World Championship of Basketball 1983-84 in game number seven. The fans erupted into thunderous applause. Well, you said it, no question, that Larry Bird, the man the Celtics will live or die with. Tonight. And electric atmosphere. Bird going in. Jack Nicholson does not have as good a seat here in Boston as he does in L.A., Tom. Here's Magic, off the mark. Lakers have several chances, and here's Larry Bird. Cut it to one. And he loses it. 
Again to Dennis Johnson is going in against Cooper again. And this time he's fouled. And Dennis Johnson hits the free throw. Johnson's free throws gave the Celtics a five-point lead. And now a foul. No basket, a foul was called. Bird had defeated his rival Magic and helped Boston secure its 15th NBA championship. The Celtics had done it. Final second. Cooper goes for three. It's over. The fans stormed the court. world titles another banner will be hung from the rafters at boston garden the loss had haters mocking magic johnson by calling him tragic johnson 1985 right after the tragic johnson label gets thrown on the next season began with tremendous expectations this was michael jordan's rookie season unselfishness move the ball magic is directing everything on the floor he's telling guys where to go it hit traffic jordan got the ball away i'll never miss a chance to share a few young mj moments and that's what they came to see didn't they the jordan versus magic matchup seemed to bring the best out of both men he got in the air. That's unbelievable. It's like he has a, a jet propeller somewhere. Kareem rejects it. Two on one. Stop. And we were the Showtime tuxedo win. <laughs> you know, just run up and down. Just show the greatness of Magic Johnson, the way he could read the floor. He threw that ball right through all five San Antonio players. Every facet of Magic's game had reached new heights. A oh, what a pass! Magic Johnson threw the key, a bounce pass of 28 feet. With the 20-foot jumper, that's what I said. He's shooting so well outside this year. Now, he can't believe it. he's questioning Mahal. That's why he passed to Johnson. He turned the no-look pass into his signature move and the Showtime moniker into a brand. You want to make the fans feel good. You want to leave them when they go home and uh, they talk to their wife that night or they go into the office the next day, you want to let them say to that next guy, hey, you missed a magic show. Oh! Magic with a little Showtime on the left hand. Scoop shot going to the right. Six points of magic. The Lakers had become the greatest show in town year in and you're out. He is the best salesman the NBA has ever had. He just goes about his but He loves what he's doing. And you can tell he's a class act. A testament to Magic's infectious energy. The crowd just makes you go into another high, another level. And uh, I, just, I just go wild and crazy. I just want to do everything. And uh, if I lose that, then it's time for me to go. Dazzling passes amplified Kareem's finishing power. Oh, great pass on the alley oop from Magic to Kareem. Played it, we played it here. Right. Yeah, which is where it starts, right here. Right. Oh. Nice pass to Magic as he sipped by Kareem. Their contrasting styles became a symphony of basketball. Oh, the ball, the foul is going to be gone to see. Sure, here comes Magic. Mesmerizing audiences. Still finds the open man worthy. Great play by Magic Johnson. The Western Conference was powerless against the Lakers. Having won four of the last five conference titles, the Lakers eyed the Phoenix Suns as their first round patient. The Lakers' prognosis couldn't be better as they had won the Pacific Division by a record setting 20 game margin. Opens the playoffs with an 18 point 19 assist game. Closes out Drexler and Portland in round two with 34, 9, and 19. The Lakers were headed back to the finals. The Lakers' fifth trip to the finals in six years and the most anticipated rematch in team history. Oh, this is it, first week of June. 
and it always happens to be Boston Celtics and LA Laker time. For most, the regular season was but a prelude to the inevitable clash of titans in the finals. Yo, swing it for the Celtics! Boston versus LA. After 84, when 85 we faced them, we were ready for the Celtics. The Celtics couldn't beat us after that. We were ready for them. For decades, the Celtics had owned the Lakers. And a turnover, good save by Kareem. But there was no stopping this Lakers team. Magic has another, just typical, for the finals and for the playoffs. 18 points, 7 rebounds, 14 assists per game. Bird with the runner, Magic with the rebound. Ain't nothing like Larry Legend and Magic Jones. Yes, the game has definitely changed. There's no denying that. But let's be damn sure we never forget that these two are the guys who changed. This is game five. And many people will tell you that it is the single most important game in a seven-game series. Add guard in a sixth year from Michigan State, number 32, Magic Johnson. Magic sending it in with that outside shot. Magic Johnson from outside. Stripped away by Urban Magic Johnson. <laughs> Two thirty-five to go. Six-point lead for the Lakers. It's now eight. No one had ever gone into Boston and won a title on their floor. And a very pleasant good afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen, from the Boston Garden, where the Los Angeles Lakers hope to achieve something they have never done. The Los Angeles Lakers, by winning two of three at home in the new format of the NBA, have achieved a three to two advantage. They want to stifle the Celtics here today and be crowned the 1985 world champions. Right here. Yes, that's even where they put Jack Nicholson. Jack, they really hate us here in Boston, don't they? Oh, no, they treat us so great. They bring us clams. They give us beer, everything. With one series, Magic could erase the tragic Johnson label and redeem not only himself, but the entire Lakers organization. To Magic. When he gets an assist, usually it's of the sparkling variety. And that laugh when he gave the word, he was beautiful. The Lakers had slain the dragon, defeating Boston on their own court while capturing the title. The Lakers could win their third title, Tommy, in six years. They have reached the finals in five of those six years. Barring some real strange happenings, the Lakers are finally going to do it against these Celtics. This man, Magic Johnson, played this season with a mission for the Lakers, and it's about to pay off. Gets revenge on Boston, beats him in six in the finals. Magic had his third championship in six years. None sweeter than this one over his rival, Larry Bird. 107-97, and it's as if no one is at Boston Garden right now. That's how quiet it is. That's got to be the ultimate thrill for the Lakers. Kareem hits again with a sky hook. The Lakers are less than a minute away. Magic Johnson, been with the Lakers six years. He's been healthy five of them. And every year he's been healthy, Magic Johnson has taken the Lakers to the NBA Finals. The Lakers are winning it. Three in six years. L.A. comes to Boston and wins the world title. The city rejoiced. 
All right, we are live from City Hall, Lakers celebration, and what you're looking at is a sign that says Boston sucks. <laughs> All right. Roaring crowds. The magic effect went beyond the court. He transcended race and socioeconomic barriers, becoming a role model for young people across L.A. If you ask me if I had fun, yes, I had fun. So you're talking the 80s, you're the biggest star in L.A. Period. Did you reach all your fans? Yes, I did. But you paid for it. But the best moments were when we won five, those five championships and Jack Nicholson came to all our after parties. Like right when we won, then we had a big party and then we had an after party to that party and Jack was in there partying with us, man. We thought we were the coolest dudes on the face of the earth to have Jack partying. What is it like to party with Jack Nicholson? Oh. Sure, I'm not sure I could keep up with Jack Nicholson. <laughs> no, nobody can. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Magic was the king of L.A. in the 80s. Does America believe in magic? You bet we do. Magic Johnson. That's, that's, that's rebounding. The next season, the Lakers look to repeat as champions. Nobody does it better. I've said it before and I'll say it a thousand times again. The young man is truly amazing. His command of the floor was second to none. They switch, and now Magic is guarded by Elijah Wan. Magic with a great feed to Rambo. It had been almost two decades since a team had last gone back to back. Magic puts it up. I, I, I strive in pressure. I love pressure. I want to be in a pressure situation. Final second. Magic was better than ever. Magic Johnson hits the three-pointer with five seconds to go after Michael Cooper was covered by Bobby Jones. Here's a guy who has not been 100% coming back from an injured knee. That's the greatest time for, I think, any athlete when the, the, the chips are down, uh, uh, when the big basket has to be scored or that pass. Uh, I want to be the one. <laughs> They're the defending world champions who must fight off yet another challenge. This is a team that has been through the wars. The Lakers returned to the conference finals again. They'd face off against Hakeem the Dream. In Houston, the biggest dream of all has been Hakeem himself, who spearheaded the drive to oust the Lakers. Kareem, how did he get in there? Blocked. Why Elijah Wise. Magic had 20 assists against the Rockets in this game. Defending champ, lose to Houston in the Western Conference Finals, and for the first time in four years, he does not make the finals. Here's Elijah Wan, doubled by Randall. During this series, Hakeem averaged 31 points, 11 rebounds, and four blocks on 52% shooting. I think they very well will be. You know they are with the Lakers. Elijah Wan. In that playoff run, where they lose in Houston to Houston, Magic averaged 21 points per game, 6 rebounds per game, 15 assists per game. Elijah Wan again and winds up on his back. And Hakeem Elijah Wan with 6 straight points. Trey will inbound. One second on the clock. But the season was Houston's, and Hakeem and Sampson carried the Rockets past L.A. Shot. Off balance has given the Houston Rockets the Western Conference Championship and a trip to Boston for the NBA World Title. The Lakers had failed to go back to back, adding salt to the wound. Magic's rival Larry Bird would win another title that season. For the 14th time, the Celtics have brought the NBA World Championship home to Boston, and thousands of fans mobbed Logan Airport this afternoon. To greet the young sports heroes. With All you young people out there, sometimes you have to fail to then win. Pass under the magic. Coming back even better, the Lakers were far from finished. To the hole for the right hand slam right in Serpent's face. In what is considered his single greatest season, Magic 
own the lead. I see 35 points magic. I see 29 points magic. You're scoring more, handing out more assists than ever before. Why are you playing better five, six years later? The season was a captivating display of basketball brilliance. A great block by Kareem, a three-on-one break, Magic. The Showtime era entered new heights. You're seeing the versatility of a Magic Johnson, who's a point guard, who also has the ability to go into the low post and play like a center. Pass down the middle of where they slam. I know it's going to move when we sit next to one of the most incredible basketball players in all of the world. Magic on a 360 spinning move. Complete court awareness. Well, let's go back. That 87 team was probably the best team that's ever played in basketball. Oh, what a pass underneath. When you think about that team, it was, it was, we had from top to bottom, it was an amazing group of guys. All with that special magic flair. Durandus, another assist for magic. For Gassing opponents who tired while desperately trying to defend against the onslaught. Lakers leading 43 39. When Magic starts to look to do this. Kareem's career was winding down, and Magic was now the focal point. But there's the spin move by the Magic Man. Magic continued his MVP pace, scoring at will. The team was an offensive force. Scott scores, Terry Porter follows him, and the crowd goes nuts. His aura was evident as winning had become synonymous with magic. You wonder why it's magic. Magic Johnson rises to the challenge and the Trailblazers one time out. The team why the Lakers are favored to win it all. It's a great basketball team. Great bounce pass. Nobody throws a bounce pass from distance like Magic Johnson. Bounce it to Scott. Score! Magic, a scintillating bounce pass. I love those passes. Uh -huh. The best player in the league and the engine behind the Showtime Lakers. That's good. That's 30 for Magic. 20 in the second half. The king of the West. You're off to another great start in 86-87. You seem like a team that's hungry, but I know that the Brinks truck pulls up in front of each one of your houses and takes the money to the bank. <laughs> so how could you be hungry when, you, when you've done it all and you're making it all? Johnson won his first league MVP. NBA Edge Most Valuable Player Award to Magic Johnson. Magic was a winner. For all his highlights, and there were plenty. For all his sensational statistics, and there were many. Magic Johnson was defined by winning more than anything else. In the playoffs, the Lakers were at their best. Danny Shays gets the basket to make it 65 47, 220 to go. An unstoppable force. It appeared to be a season of destiny. Reverse bounce pass underneath Magic London. Watch Magic check, check the area. Well, you don't want to go down, down 30 if you can avoid it. <laughs> Magic was such a winner that nine of his 12 full seasons ended with him playing in the NBA Finals. Why not? He's got 17 now. Uh-oh, two on one. Watch this pass. But before Magic, there had never been a six foot nine inch ball handler, let alone point guard. In the Finals, Magic would get another shot at Bird and the Celtics. The Celtics were the defending champions. You had two guys on opposite coast and and, uh, and playing well and taking their teams to the finals year after year after year and playing against each other has got to do nothing but to raise morale of the league. With 1.13 on the clock and a chance to cut it to seven. It's good. Four on the shot clock. Dennis for two. 
just missed, and the Lakers can take the lead here. Magic. The most compelling is that everybody wanted to see us play them because they were the uh, hard-nosed, tough, East Coast-type team that used a pass to kind of run their fast break. And a foul as well. Magic's passing was so incredible, so awe-inspiring that he literally made it as cool to pass as to score for an entire generation of players. There's the Cooper loop. The alley up to Michael Cooper. The Lakers took a lead back to Boston. L.A. wanted redemption, and Magic would deliver it for them. With the game hanging in the balance, Magic turned to Kareem's signature move. Magic Johnson in the low post being guarded by Dennis Johnson. A beautiful moment which has come to embody so many things about the career of Magic Johnson. Scores with two. After the Celtics trail by one with two seconds to go. Off the court. Two games later, the Lakers clinched the title in Game 6. I just tried to play the game the right way, man. And I love passing that basketball, man, and having it in my hands. I love controlling the action. I love the game. Magic Johnson, you and the Lakers just won the NBA championship. What are you going to do next? I'm going to Disneyland. Yeah. Another title put the Lakers back atop the 80s hierarchy. But it was the extraordinary measure of the man that despite the unusually high standards we judged him by, he so regularly exceeded those expectations. Okay, so a final show. Congratulations to the Lakers, the 1987 NBA World Champions. Thank you, David. Right. <laughs> Whoever said winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. Apparently had today's citywide celebration in mind, where estimates of 40 to 50,000 screaming fans showed their appreciation. L.A. celebrated as the Lakers reigned again. These are the stages of Magic Johnson's coming of age. And I'm guaranteeing everybody here, next year we're gonna win it again. What is the true measure of greatness? By winning the NBA title against Boston in the 86-87 season, the Lakers now had a chance to prove their greatness. Two titles in three years. Pat Riley at the helm. One of the reasons the Lakers have developed that aura of invincibility is that Pat Riley drills his team as hard as any coach in the NBA. But after a hard day of offensive and defensive drills under Riley, the hand-to-hand -hand combat, the Lakers have earned their right to play. It was up to the players to perform a feat which hadn't been done in 19 years, to win back-to-back -back world titles. Defense is high up to Magic Johnson, here's the drive, he scores it, minute 23 to go, Lakers by two. Seven minutes, 50 seconds left here in the fourth quarter, Byron's back, near corner, 18 foot Boy, well, you give him an inch. A mid-season rematch with the Celtics was the hottest ticket in town. The game came down to one final shot. A positive thing for both ball clubs tonight, and it's a shame that one of them has to lose. Cooper will inbound the ball. Johnson. He hits it. The Lakers win. The Lakers win it at the buzzer on the shot by Magic Johnson. 115 to 114. Magic drilled the game winner. The win propelled the defending champion Lakers into a 15-game winning streak. But it wouldn't go in, and AC got the rebound. Green gives the Magic. Bounce under to Thompson. That's a great pass, and Thompson scores. Not many guys in the league can make that pass. Randy Fishman and Tim Edwards are fine statisticians. Oh, what a perfectly executed lob pass. And there is Magic Johnson, the ball player. 
at the peak of his game and still having fun at the office. It had been 19 years since any team had repeated as champions in the NBA. Magic aimed to end that streak. Goes into Magic Johnson. He'll drive, go to the hoop, and score. Great pass by Magic. They cruised past the regular season and back into the playoffs. Game five of the Western Conference Final. The Dallas Mavericks trying to win one in L.A. against the Lakers. And the Lakers came right back with a surge. Magic the Maestro conducted the offense. And the Lakers can celebrate. And their dreams of a back-to-back -back championship remain very much... Magic so. led the Lakers back to the finals. And it's nothing personal. But I want to beat the Lakers. And um, we will see. They all want us, and they all get their chance right now. Magic and the Lakers were on the precipice of history. Friends are here. They are the two buddies, Isaiah and Magic. The crowd loves what they see. I guess this is Pistons basketball, huh? The outstanding defense by both teams when someone gets to the basket. Magic comes back with a hook shot. Or Isaiah do something at this end, I'm going to show my friend what I can do. The Pistons were on the rise, and many felt the Lakers' run was at its end. The Lakers go to their spot about as quick as any team I have ever seen. The series was grueling and would push the Lakers to the brink. A Game 7 would be forced back in L.A. And an imposing home record in the playoffs. Lambeer and Kareem. Jumping the Lakers seven. were primed to end the 19-year drought since the last back-to-back -back champion. And the rebound by Magic Johnson. One game to settle it all. And Scott goes to the hoop score. One game to make history. The Lakers were there, but no foul. Magic Johnson. Magic and Worthy put on a show. The Lakers want to put this to bed early, it seems. They have done it. The game ends. The Lakers have won it again. Back-to-back -back champions. A great moment. The Lakers repeat as world champions here first time in 19 years the first team to do it in 19 years they are releasing pent up emotion in the laker dressing room The next year, Magic was named Athlete of the Decade. This team is the team of the 80s. They have a ball club with incredible pride. Magic Johnson's playing in his 10th year pass. Johnson would continue his dominance and would win another league MVP. Underneath score, foul, Grant. The Lakers maintained ownership of the Western Conference. Break the magic. He has to wait for the pass. Magic in deep. Takes the pass and scores. Riley had the Showtime Lakers moving the ball as well as ever. Side to Byron Scott. In low to Magic Johnson. Underneath the stop. No one could stop them. Magic Johnson. Nobody does it better. I've said it before and I'll say it a thousand times again. The young man is truly amazing. He makes the pass better than anybody. Magic. Magic's got a three on two to the left is Cooper. The 
Bounce pass to Duke. Slammed up. Among the men of the NBA, Irvin Magic Johnson is the man. What a pass. Under the top ten and scored. Magic's Magic league ball. record, 30 triple doubles in the playoffs. Taken by Magic. One of the greatest teams and dynasties in American pro sports history. In the playoffs, they ran into the Trailblazers. 1989. Magic wins another league MVP. The opening game of the Western Conference Playoff Series between the Los Angeles Lakers, the defending NBA champions, and the Portland Trailblazers. Anyway, it comes up short. The rebound comes off to Portland. Percy on the run. Check out Clyde the Glide Drexler. Now the circle wouldn't go for him. Worthy pulls away the rebound. Lakers on the run. Magic. Keeps it. Basket good. He'll go to the line. Magic and the Lakers won 11 straight games in the playoffs, cruising to the finals. They're going for three straight titles. They sweep their way to the finals. And the Lakers wind up winning it by 20. All that success, here comes the Pistons and the Bulls. Uh, those were our... The Pistons were probably one of the best defensive teams that's probably played in the finals. But they was physical, that's why, yeah, right? Yeah, they, they were so physical, but long. In a rematch, the Pistons have dreamt about for an entire season. Home court advantage belongs to the Detroit Pistons, who battled all year to gain it. So tonight, in their beautiful new palace, about 35 miles outside of downtown Detroit, it'll be game In the finals, the Lakers would face off one more time with the bad boy Pistons. In the finals, Detroit is awesome. Five on the shot clock. Here's Magic with a running hook. But we also never know what will happen because Magic got hurt in game two. In game two, Magic was in transition when injury struck. Magic Johnson may have pulled a hamstring. He missed 16 games, including the All-Star game with a hamstring pull. He was forced out of the remainder of the series. I've never seen him look like that. And they get swept. Overall in the 80s, he had eight finals appearances and five titles in that deck. The Lakers could become the first team in the history of the league ever to sweep their way into the finals and then be swept out in four straight games. Magic had to watch from the bench as the Pistons swept the Lakers. It was the Pistons' moment, their time, to finally win it all. For Magic and the Lakers, it was a crushing defeat as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar retired after the season. Here. Kareem is now retired. Magic wins another MVP. Thompson gives the ball to Magic Johnson. Magic running the show. Underneath to Worthy, slam dunk. That's about a 44-foot pass like a bullet. In the fourth quarter, Magic's got it. Magic had another MVP season. Down the middle of Green, great pass. Green lays it up and in. Lakers a game and a half ahead of Detroit for the best home court record in the entire league right now. The He's a man whose team has achieved unsurpassed excellence over the past decade. He's also a player who has never focused on statistics, but winning, and only winning. He was named CBS Player of the Year. There's Magic at 5.2, down to three seconds. The hook shot! Oh, no! With eight checks the For the second consecutive season, the Miller Lite CBS Player of the Year as selected by the CBS Sports Production staff, is none other than Irvin Magic Johnson of the Los Angeles Lakers. He keeps the ball, yo-yos up and down, turns. The next season, Fake. Magic led the Lakers back to the finals again. Throws up a hook shot of eight and scores. But this time, he ran into the emerging Bulls and Michael Jordan. Rarely do players carry teams to wins, much less championships. You're not going to avoid the Magic Michael thing. And we got out on him by 12 to 2. And I said, I'm going I'm to really rattle his chain. So I went over there, tapped him on the shoulder, and said, Hey, man, if you don't turn into Air Jordan, we're going to blow you out today. Jimmy, his eyes got big. You do 
that tongue come about right here and I was way out. <laughs> He's looking at me. Stripped by Jordan. There's Jordan. Jordan scored the uh, 46. That was the uh, the one loss in the series. He has Michael has a, a streak in him competitively that I've never seen in anyone before. I think Michael Jordan has the perfect body. It's long, it's lean, he can run, he can jump. jump. Everything was perfect. The look away to Levingston. Jordan. Michael Jordan in 1991 came down on us with the right hand, tongue out. He switched in midair to the left. Just stunned, and all of us were stunned to see him hang in the air that night. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. Incredible. Well, There'll never be. The moral is you should not talk trash to Michael Jordan. Yeah. says it all magic johnson and he was certainly magic on the basketball court the la lakers star kept basketball fans entertained for 12 seasons with his basketball sleight of hand and his trademark smile 91 your world changed mm -hmm. you came out and made an announcement that you were hiv positive first of all let me say good good after late afternoon um because of uh, the hiv virus that i have Attained, uh, I will have to retire from the Lakers uh, today. After the HIV diagnosis and Magic's subsequent retirement, fans were left shocked. Their favorite player had suddenly removed himself from the game, and many worried they'd never see him play again. Just one week into this NBA season, the shocking news of Magic Johnson's retirement hit us. In the three months since, the issue of AIDS in sports and in society has found a powerful spokesman. Irvin Magic Johnson had his career cut short when he was diagnosed with HIV 22 years ago. And at that time, you know, it was a death sentence. And people didn't go public with the virus. The impact of that announcement was huge. And since then, Magic has found a new life as a, an incredibly successful entrepreneur and an advocate. Did it ever even occur to you to, to use protected sex? No. Three months ago, he announced his retirement from the NBA after testing positive for the HIV virus. But he was voted by the fans as one of the starting guards for the Western Conference stars. This is the live scene inside the West locker room. Hornacek came out, and he was followed by Worthy, and there's Magic. The fans showed their support by voting Magic into the All-Star game. Magic's all-star return sparked a new desire for him to continue playing. It was this desire that led him to spearheading the creation of the Dream Team. For more than half a century, the U.S. was so dominant in basketball that its collegiate players were all that was needed to win the gold. And here's the frosting for the USSR. They win it. 82-76. Both other countries were using pros playing against 18, 19 year old kids. That is really unfair. After loss after loss for U.S. basketball of these. The Olympics would now allow professional athletes to compete for the first time, opening the door for the formation of a team. There was an idea called the Avengers Initiative. Moments ago, the Dream Team boarded the bus outside their hotel along the Rombles. I kept thinking that the attention would dissipate. They're going to play the first game. They're going to win by 60. A team unlike any other. A 6'6 six, six guard, Michael Jordan. The guy on the bench is taking pitches. What may well be the best basketball team ever assembled. The Dream Team served as a final farewell for both Magic and Bird. So suddenly the lead stretches to 15. <laughs> oh! The Dream Team is credited with bringing NBA basketball to the world. It's in hustle, number 14 with the score. <laughs> That's what people have been waiting for. Hello! An entire generation of kids in Europe watched the Dream Team in awe.
prior to the U.S. beating these teams by 60 points, but they pose at midcourt. It's a watershed moment in the history of sports. Not just, not just the Olympics, not just basketball. Though Magic did return briefly again, this was the symbolic goodbye he deserved. Yes, look at look at these numbers. Uh, 31 straight points at one stretch, 46 to 1 run by the United States. It gave birth to international stars who had nothing to do with those games in 92. Irvin Magic. Johnson. Showtime. Nobody brings it home like Joe Vincent. Nobody. Make it so.